Hello and welcome to Sunday's edition of Cracking the Cryptic, where I've got my Christmas hat on. Have I got my right glasses on? I think I do. Um, and today we're going to be trying one of those puzzles that is, um, well, it's, it's the favourite type of puzzle of a lot of people. So some people like Fist Mephel or J. Dyer puzzles that are just really, really impossibly difficult. Um, some people like Fog of War puzzles. Um, but there is an another sort of big coterie of people who like Roggen puzzles, especially this whole two truths and a lie type idea um, that I think, I want to say it was invented by Zeta Math, but I might be wrong. Anyway, this is what we're going to be trying today. It's a puzzle called Trick Play by Viking Prime. It's been recommended to us by people like the Peddling Pianist. So people who know a thing or two about what a good puzzle looks like. And apparently this is wonderful. Now, because it is a two truths and a lie puzzle and it's got you know constraints within it you know sort of black dots white dots gray circles gray squares there are a lot of rules to this but the rules are basically very standard um so don't be put off if you see a wall of text um on the side of your screens that um if you're used to variant Sudoku at all, there is nothing in here that will surprise you. Um, and I'll read you the rules in a moment or two's time. Now, what do I have to tell you about? Um, we're closing in uh, on, the, on the closing date for our uh, competition over on Patreon for, for, for December, uh, which is the 100 Snack Doku Pack. <laughs> <laughs> literally thousands of you <laughs> have been doing those it's fantastic um but if you if you haven't finished yet you've got until the 20th so we're, we're getting closer um uh, now is there anything else i was meant to say the kickstarter is now finished thanks to all of you who booked that or who supported that we're busy we're busy making the finished product and testing the final puzzle so it's not going to be long um i don't think there's anything else i'm meant to mention there probably is oh birthdays i do have birthdays to mention let's do some birthdays we'll start with james who's turned 40 today the big 4-0 and i know this because your partner sarah i think it's sarah it could be sarah as well i'm never sure and if if, if there's any chance of me getting it wrong i plead with people who who ask me to do birthdays to give me some guidance um because i am a muppet and i will get it wrong if given the remotest chance um but anyway um james i understand you love watching and i hope that you i hope you enjoy watching this this puzzle and i hope you have a great day today with of course lots of chocolate cake now somebody who i know is getting well it's a type of chocolate cake a white chocolate raspberry bunt cake is nicole N nicole whose husband tate has been in touch with us um, and apparently, Nicole, you're more of a fan of sort of Great British Bake Off, which I'm a fan of as well, um, as opposed to Sudoku videos. But you do tolerate them. And for that, I'm most grateful. <laughs> and enjoy your cake today, which sounds fantastic. Um, and Tate, thank you for the email. We appreciated it. And then finally, over there in, I'm going to say Bilai, is that how you pronounce it? Bilai, India. Um, it's the 29th birthday of Palaf. And Palaf, I know this because your partner Aditi wrote to us. Um, and Palaf, I know that you're a maths professor at UC Riverside. I am constantly, I get imposter syndrome all the time when I hear about maths professors watching the channel. I, why would, you know, it, it just, I'm not going to say it, but it, 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 I do, I find it incredibly intimidating and uh, just the most amazing compliment so thank you very much for putting up with me um and um i hope that you have an absolutely brilliant birthday today of course and with all that said and done i can start solving sudoku let me read you the rules of trick play by viking prime i think my hat's all right isn't it feels a bit strange on my head but these these are the rules so we've got normal sudoku rules apply so we've got to put the digits one to nine once each in every row in every column and in every three by three box now, each of the following standard clue types occurs exactly three times in the grid. Arrows. So let's just check this. So we've got an arrow there, an arrow there, and an arrow there. So that's right. Um, circle. What does that mean? We'll come back to that. Dots. Uh, ah, no, there are. Yeah, no, that's true. There are three black dots, certainly. Um, three white dots. Okay. Odd and even. So that must be squares, is it? Okay, so yeah, there are three of each of those. XVs. Uh, can I, no, there are three Xs. 
they're going to be three V's, aren't there? Okay, X is V's. Um, zipper. Zipper is a type of line. Okay, that must be the blue line. Um, and then it says, for each of these clue types, exactly two of the appearances of that clue are correct, and the other is incorrect. So, if we take the, um, or take the arrow, well, let's take the arrows. So that means that two of these arrows work, and one of them is wrong, and our job is going to be to determine which of the three is correct, obviously. And then there's a whole wall of text now that describes all of these standard two clue types. So the standard clue types mentioned above are as follows. White dots, cell separated by a white dot, must contain consecutive digits. So if this was a two, this would have to be a one or a three. Black dots, cell separated by a black dot, must be in a ratio of one to two. So one digit must be double the other. That's exactly what we'd expect. So if this is two, this is four or one. Um, Arrows. Digits on an arrow must sum to the digit in that arrow's grey circle. Okay, well, that's exactly what we'd expect. Uh, now, where, where's the next thing? X's. Cells separated by an X must contain digits summing to 10. V's. Cells separated by a V must contain digits summing to 5. Odds. Cells containing an opaque grey circle must contain an odd digit. Evens. Cells containing an opaque grey square must contain an even digit. Circle. A digit in a purple circle indicates, oh, exactly how many purple circles contain that digit. So these are, these are the new type of circle rule. So if this, uh, well, hmm. that's very interesting, actually, immediately. I won't say too much about those, but I think, I, I think we should talk about those quite soon once we start solving. And zipper, digits in equal distance from the center of a blue line must sum to the digit in the middle of that line. So if that square was a, an eight, these two squares would add up to eight, these two squares would add up to eight, and these two squares would add up to eight. Um, so this, this, this puzzle incorporates two of the new rule sets that have been invented in 2023, zipper lines and circles, which have done, you know, which have created so many wonderful videos for us. Um, it's fact, yeah, absolutely lovely. Do have a go at this one. The way to play is to click the link under the video as usual. But now I get to play. Let's get cracking. Now, the first thing I'm actually going to start with are the purple circles because it said two of these have to be correct circles. So two of these have to correctly count the number of circles or sorry, the number of digits in the purple circle. So I want to say there must be two twos in these. Because you couldn't have a three in them. Or could, if, if, you, if, if all of these were filled with three, all three of them would be correct. If one of them was a one, that one would be correct. And how could you make a second one correct? Because you can't have them both correct. You couldn't do two twos like that. Because these twos would be correct and the one would be correct. So the only way I think you can fill the purple circles is if exact, right, exactly two of them are twos and the third one is not a one that's what i'm going to claim now if it's right and if exactly two of them are twos they can't be those two because they would be in the same row of the sudoku so i'm going to claim that's a two now that's annoying <laughs> actually that is immediately annoying because i don't know whether that v is correct i was about to immediately well i say i don't know that No, that V is wrong. I think. Oh, no, it's not necessarily wrong. Oh, no, no, this is so annoying. <laughs> these, these rules are so annoying. Right. OK, if 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 the V is correct, then you can see the arrow emanating from this circle must be wrong because it can't contain uh, two digits that add up to three. But if the V is wrong, then that could be anything. And then the cert, then this could be correct. So if we knew this digit, we would know something about the nature of either the V's or the circle or the, or the arrows for sure. Now, one of these is a two. That's the other thing we know for sure. So either. Oh, no, that's it's not either, is it? Because it depends whether these are correct. 
Well, at least we've, we've at least we've got a start there. That's still quite exciting to me. Now, right, I can see something else very quick here, which I might as well major on next. And that is, I'm now going to claim that this line is correct. And the way the way I've seen that is that I only know one thing about zipper lines. And that thing is, if they are true, you can only put a nine on a zipper line in its central cell. So imagine this was a true zipper line and you tried to put a nine here. Well, that's telling you the central cell is the sum of this digit and that digit, which is going to be necessarily a double digit number, which we can't put in Sudoku. So if this is correct, nine would be in one of these squares. But if this is correct, nine will be in one of those squares. Well, one of these at least must be correct. But now both of them, because we can't have two lying clues of the same type. But they can't both be correct, because if they were both correct, you'd have nines here looking at nines here. So one of these is wrong, one of these is right, and this one is correct. Um, let's have a colour for correct. Let's have light green. Light green means something is correct. So this is correct. There's ah, this is right. Here's another point. Let's let's just mark the central center of this. This square here, which is the center, is. I'm going to say five, six, seven, or eight. But I'm, I'll check that in a minute. It can't be nine because we know there's a nine in one of those six cells. Because whichever one of these is correct is going to push its nine into the middles there. Looking at this square. Now, I don't think this can be as low as four. Because four only has one pair of digits that can add up to add up to it, which is a one, three pair. And if you put one and three there, you can't also put them there. Now, this could... Pa oh, hmm. No. Well, actually, this can't... Actually, this is hugely powerful. The fact that there's a two in one of these squares is, is removing more digits from this center than I'd realized. Because if this is five or six, if it's five, we could have a one, four, but we couldn't then have a two, three because of the two in the wings of row five. So that rules five out. If it was six, we can't have two, four as a pair anymore. So you could only have ones and fives and we can't fill all four of those digits with ones and fives without repeating them. So we're up to seven or eight for the middle square. Now, if it's seven, if it's seven, we'd have to have one, six and three, four in some order. Uh, which would mean that V was wrong. Um, I don't know if, if that's eight. If that's eight, then we can't. Well, this is this would then be one sevens, threes and fives. So, if that's seven, sorry, if you can, if you can see what this means quickly, well done. I'm not quite seeing it. I really would, I really would love to know <laughs> which of these was a, well, do I want to know which of these is a two or do I want to know which, whether the V or the, if, can the V and it, ah, actually I haven't done any maths yet, have I? That's a thought. Oh yeah, okay. Well, I was about to say, I'd love to know which of the V's and the X's were correct in row five. They can't both be correct because if that if this is correct it adds up to five and this is correct it adds up to ten so these four digits would add up to fifteen and we can use the secret here can't we the secret is something i only tell my favorite people but if you're watching this video you're definitely definitely one of my favorite people um so i will share it with you just don't tell anyone else the secret of any sudoku puzzle is that the digits one to nine which must constitute this complete row here or any complete box or any complete column 
because of the rules of Sudoku, we know they've got one to nine once each in them, add up to 45. So if these squares add up to 15, these squares on the zipper add up to 30. But let's think about the mathematical nature of this zipper line. We know this square, let's call it X. It's a seven or an eight, but we'll call it X. Those two digits therefore add up to X and these two digits add up to X. So this line represents something that is three times X. Well, if, if three X equals 30, which is what would be true if these, this V and this X were true, then that digit in the middle needs to be a 10, which it can't be. So at least one of these is wrong for certain. Right, wait a second though. Now I'm, I want to do maths here and here as well. The, look at the um, look at the geometry of those. Apart from that circle, and the, obviously the dot poking in, but the, the, these two boxes are the same. They're each a seven-cell zipper line and an X domino. But the two X dominoes can't both be incorrect. So one of them, at least, must be true. Uh, hang on, what's going on here? I can't... Ah, uh, uh, right. Uh, this, is, this is really clever setting. This is really clever. Right. Yeah, I, I love this. <laughs> There's a, what I'm about to say is going to... would sound to somebody who didn't know about cracking the cryptic like I was speaking in tongues, but... Let me try and explain what I'm now seeing. I know one of these zippers is correct. They can't both be correct, remember. So one of them is correct, one of them is wrong. Let's imagine it's this one. Let's say that's correct, just for a moment. That this line is a bit different from this one. This, the way this top line works, it's a seven cell line. So everything, in fact, let's put the middle, let's mark the middles. So if this was X, these two add up to x, these two add up to x, these two add up to x. So this zipper line can be could be expressed mathematically as 4x, where the x is the digit in this cell. Now, if this is a correct zipper line, even if I make that a 9, then this would be, this line would contain digits that sum to 4 times 9, which is 36. And this x could not be true. Now imagine this was an 8, then it'd be 32, this would be a 13. There is simply no way of making the box mathematics work in, in whichever one of these zipper lines is correct. So one of these x's is definitely untrue, which means that one is definitely true. That's the first conclusion I've reached. But doesn't that mean that v is false now? Because I thought we worked out these couldn't both be true. So that's 10. If that was 24, 34, this would be an 11. Yeah, yeah that's, this can't be true. This is definitely not true. Um, because the, the five cell zipper here either adds up to 21 or 24, plus 10 is 31 or 34. So these either add up to 14 or 11. They'd never add up to five. So this does add up to five. That is a three. This line, this arrow now cannot be true. So we can redify these. And that means this arrow is correct. It means this arrow is correct. Let's make those, let's do it like that. And if that V is incorrect that v is correct and it's not two three so this is a one four pair this is beautiful now look at this this is a one four pair but this arrow we've just worked out is correct so that's a four this is a one three pair that's a one that's a one that's a three we are suddenly cooking with some gas here now now do i know which of these is the two now I don't think I do, do I? Um, maybe. If that's a 7, I don't think that can be a 2. I think it would be too small. 21, 
31, this would have to add up to 14, this domino, so that couldn't be a 2. I think if that's if that's an 8, that could be a 9, though, and make this work, if that's a 2. So 2, 9. Ah, but then, oh no, but we don't know. <laughs> we don't know whether the white dot is correct or not. Oh, these things are so annoying. But hang on, what about this arrow, then? Maybe this is what we should be looking at next, because the minimum sum of this is a 1, 2 pair. One two. Oh no, it's not. It's a one three pair. Oh, hang on. Let's let's actually look at the minimum. One three, one. Is there a reason this can't be a one? Not sure. That might be able to be a one two pair. Um, so what does all that add up to? Eight. Right. So that's an eight or a nine. And there's one degree of freedom in these squares. There must be. A, ah. Okay. There must be a one in one of those two squares then. Uh, because otherwise this would become a 2 plus a 3, which is a, a minimum, which is 5. Uh, whereas I was catering and getting to 8 with a minimum of 1 plus 2. Um, so obviously I can't increase this 3 total to 5 without breaking the bank here. So one of these is a 1, and we know which one it is. So this square is now a 6 or a 7, depending on whether this is a 7 or an 8. Um... And that square is a 5 or a 4, depending on whether this is a 7 or an 8. This is a real domino that adds up to 10. And it doesn't use 1, one 9 or 3, 7, so it's got even digits on it. So it's either 4 with a 6 here, or it's 2 with an 8 here. I'm sure that's resolvable somehow. <laughs> Let me think about that. If, yeah, okay. So if this was four, six, I don't know, hang on, hang on, hang on. That might work actually. Then that could be an eight. Four, six, eight, seven, five. No, sorry, that does, I think that might work. Um, this, this has definitely got a 1 in it, and it's either 1 and 3 or 1 and 4. That is a 1 or a 2. That is a 2 or a 3. Okay. Now, ah, now let me go back to speaking in tongues. Because what we worked out uh, when we were looking at the zippers was that what, whichever zipper is the, the true zipper has an incorrect X in its box. But that means whichever one has an incorrect zipper must have a correct X in its box. So one of these X's is true. Hmm, I don't know what that means. <laughs> it probably means something very important. If that X was true that would have to be a low digit because an X is by its nature it has a low digit a one two three or a four opposite a six seven eight or nine I know I know there's a nine somewhere in this column um. <laughs> And this is the classic thing about these sorts of two truths and a lie puzzle. I now have no idea where to look. Uh, th right, that was a that was a true domino, wasn't it? So let's actually put that in green. That this was a true domino. Ah, that white dot's wrong. Look, because it ca we can't put two here. So this is wrong. I don't know how. How am I going to show that? Maybe I could. Can I do that? <laughs> okay, I'll do that. And then white dot, other white dots are correct. Um, where are they? There's one there. So I'm going to put a green line through it. So that, right, actually, let's look at that one. So that's a correct white dot. So. So if that was seven. Uh, does that work or does that get too big to have a consecutive pair there I'm not sure if that's 7 this is 21 31 this is 14 
so this has to be a five nine or a six it can't be six eight because that would break that square so it would be five nine this would be five this would be nine and that could be four perhaps this almost looks that almost feels right doesn't it yeah that feels quite so this would be how what did i say this is five nine this is four that's two eight and that's seven all right let's try it the other way so if that's eight i think this i don't think there's going to be as much pressure now if that's eight we've got 24 34 this is adding up to 11 oh then where's the nine in this row look that's a nine ah that's it that's how to do it right the question we should have asked is where does nine go in this row and because this green dot is correct it can't have a nine on it because this square's too low so the nine can only go there displacing our pencil mark two and putting the two there where it must be next to eight because we know that's a true dot so that's seven in the middle six here four here by maths three and four add up to the right number and that's a five and that's still not known look this is brilliant though thank you thank you to everybody who's recommended this because it is brilliant now what do we do next what could it be ah right i know what it is we do next that's black that black dot is broken <laughs> that black dot can't have three or four or one on it so if we think about the numbers that we can make black dots work for where one of the digits is double the other we could have one and two well that's ruled out there's a one in one of these we could have two and four that's ruled out we could have four and eight that's ruled out we could have three and six that's ruled out and that's everything ruled out so that's wrong which means this is correct actually let's maybe we'll use the the patented green line method so that's an interesting dot because that hasn't got ones or fours on it so that's got to be a three six pair that digit is correct and is consecutive with this so it's two four five or seven and somehow that's not that's not clear what that is i've just noticed though that if this is a correct uh even square it would have to be a two because it couldn't be six eight or four uh that digit's quite interesting look that digit can't be two three or four but it is a black dot digit so it's either one six or eight so that digit is two three or four bother <laughs> um if that's seven do we know do we know more about this column We know whichever is the real x is not three seven um hmm. oh dear <laughs> and suddenly we grind to the most almighty halt don't we one is, ah one is in one of those two squares in row four by sudoku Oh no, well, I mean, where are oh, maybe this column then? Two, five, seven, nine. So that's five, seven, or nine. It can't be two. Ah, five, seven, or nine. Four, one, one, <laughs> three. As in, ah, three is nearly in the corner. That's Sudoku of all things. Um,. Is there? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Where am I meant to look now? Gosh, it's very, it's very interesting that you can hit such a brick wall when I almost feel that we've broken the back of this, which it felt to me anyway, was to do with the zippers. The zipper that's real right the zipper that's real has an eight or a nine in in the circle and that's because there have to be three different ways of making the total work in so it, imagine this was a real zipper this digit here 
that has to be a legitimate way of making the total that has to be and that has to be so this has to be at least seven um, because six only has two different ways of making it its total with one five and two four so but it can't be seven so it would be eight or nine which would give us a pair if in that row if, if this was eight or nine in this if this was eight or nine there's no pressure at all um do you think that there might be golly i don't know what on earth am i meant to do now i haven't got a clue how am i meant to know which way up this all goes um i don't think it's going to be this row is it I mean, I'm noticing tiny. I mean, obviously, these squares are all high, relatively high digits. They're from five, six, seven, eight, and nine. That can't be seven. I mean, that might have to be even, but I don't think we know much about the squares really yet. That's not nine. It depends whether the zipper is real as to whether or not we can put nines into these two squares. That can't be six. If that's a real x, then this square is a 1, 3, or 4. And if that's a real x, we know this would be an unreal zipper. So that would be a real zipper. Uh, now, I was about to rule 9 out of this square. That's not valid, because I, although I do know there's a 9 in one of those six cells, it could be that cell. Okay, so I need to think harder. What could it be? I have not got a Scooby-Doo. <laughs> I've not got a Scooby-Doo. Um, what would be useful here? Yeah, I mean, I, it could be. It could be to do with one of these squares. If one of these squares sees all of the this one nearly sees all of the even digits. That one really doesn't. That one sees two and four, but it could be six or eight. I don't think there's a restriction on that. This one here, that also sees two or four. So that one I think can be six or eight. If we could prove, no, that's not even true. What I was about to say is just nonsense. I was about to say if we could prove this was a nine, it would be helpful. Um, do we know anything about ones in this bottom box? I don't, th I don't think we do. Again, okay. Let's try the uh, grey circles in case one of these sees a lot of odd digits. This one sees a couple. That one sees two as well. Three, three, five, or not a seven. This one could be. Uh, right no I am stuck I have okay what have I missed here then what could it be have I used all my white dots have I used all my black dots <laughs> I think I've used all my black dot I can't find the other white oh that white dot yeah we used that white dot definitely um do we know the way to San Jose I don't know uh, no three is down here two is down there is that a useful deduction most certainly no I, w I will say this is very clever it's very clever that, that, that this is not obvious it could well be me missing a simple step but let's 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 assume I'm not for a moment I really like the fact that this this can still feel like it doesn't want to just give up. Hmm. It's not going to be something like it 
if you put eight into a, into the correct zipper circle, oh, then you get four nine, don't you? You get four nine on the X. That's interesting. That feels interesting. Now, what does that mean? Because what I'm thinking of, let's imagine this is a correct zipper and say it's got an eight in its circle. Then you can't put four in the wings because the opposite the four, you'd have to have a second four. So this would have to be a four nine pair. Now, if, if we could rule out four from this square, that would be really interesting because then, then this couldn't be nine four. No, actually, maybe it wouldn't be as interesting as I think. So, but if that's nine, these add up to nine, don't they? And they would have to be nine without being two seven. So they'd be three six. Let's put nine in there. This would be either three six four five or one eight. I've not. I've not. I've done the maths right on this, haven't I? Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, this can only. This might. This doesn't have to be a nine. It could be an eight. Um. Right then. And whichever one of these has an incorrect zipper, literally those seven cells, we know just about nothing about. Well, no. Nah, well, nearly nothing about. We know they add up to thirty-five in seven cells, but that's boring. That's not an interesting deduction at all. Um, wow, okay. <laughs> I was thought I was doing well and I've just come to an absolutely stone cold stop, haven't I? What could it be? I've used the arrows a bit where I, where I think I've been able to, I've used them. X's is oh, I know I've got one X that works and I've got another X somewhere in one of these two that works. I've got I have a feeling it's something it's it's, it's either the zipper the zipper that's correct. Oh I've got it. Oh it's obvious. Okay, brilliant. I, I take my hat off to this because it's so obvious once you have the thought. I know for 10 minutes some of you have been screaming at me. Okay, and I'm sorry, I just didn't see it. But what I'm sort of delighted by is it's a perfectly seeable step. It's totally and utterly fair and I respect the heck out of Viking Prime for, for this. Right, the, the point is this is not a real zipper. Because if it is a real zipper, what are those two squares adding up to? And the answer is, at, well, at least 11. <laughs> They're both at least five. So this cannot be a real zipper because that would be saying sum those two digits. It's that simple. And yes, I know it's simple. Once you look in the correct place and have the correct thought, it's simple. And I really respect that, actually. So this is a correct zipper. Therefore, that is an eight or a nine at the top. This is now... Because this is the incorrect zipper, we know we know this goes with the correct x. So this is a real x, so that's not a 5. So this square is 1, 2, or 4. Now, does that help us? I know we've got an 8, 9 pair here now. Oh, don't tell me that doesn't do anything. That would be most upsetting. That really would be most upsetting. We know... Well, what do we know? We know if that's an 8, this is a 4-9 pair. So one option is this is 4 and 9. If this is 9, oh no. We, well, if this is 9, we know these two digits add up to 9 because we'd have 4 lots of 9 on this, 36, 45 for the box. So this has to be 9. So you couldn't put a 2 on here, could you? So 2 has to be on one of those. Oh no, that's not well... No, two. Okay, so two is always on, on the zipper because this is either four, nine or it adds up to nine and therefore it couldn't include a two because that would put a seven on it. Um, 
Okay. Does it matter that this is an 8-9 pair somehow? Doesn't feel like it, it, it does. And this, we don't, you know, we do well, we do sort of know what this adds up to. This is a correct zipper, I'm, I must I must notate that. This is an incorrect zipper, so let's notate that. That's a correct X, that's an incorrect X. And, okay, I'm, I mustn't lose track of the fact that there is a, a grey circle under the thingy there. So our twos are done for the circle clues. This is an eight nine pair. Well, I mean, what's that doing? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what that's doing. Um, I'd very much like to know which way round it was. I think if we did know which way round it was, we would be we would be in a very good position. That white dot is definitely wrong, and that's fine. I don't know. I mean, it's weird, actually. So this is either four, six, two, eight, or one, nine. So if it was one, nine, this square would be eight. If it's two, eight, that would be nine. If it's four, six, Um, if it's 4, 6, actually, we would know that this couldn't be an 8, because that would put 4, 9 into those squares. Oh, that's it. Oh, that's sick. Oh, my goodness me. That is... That's really hard for me to see. I feel like... I really actually feel lucky I've just had that thought. I don't... I, I wasn't close to having that thought in a clear way, but I've just lucked into it. Right, right, this is not 8, for the most beautiful reason. If that's 8, I was talking before about the fact you then couldn't put 4 on the, on the zipper, and obviously you can't put 9 on the zipper, so this was a 4-9 pair. What I had not appreciated until just now is that kills this. It kills all of the options for the X domino. It can't now be 2-8, it can't be 4-6, it can't be 1-9, so it cannot work. Oh, that's absolutely brilliant. That is brilliant. So this is nine. Right, so this ah, oh, this is eight, so it's minimumed. That's gonna be huge. That's gonna be huge. This is minimumed. This is minimumed. This now is six four. It can't be one nine or two eight. So it's six here, four here. Now please, please give up graciously now, puzzle. I will be very pleased with you if you do. Uh, that's not a four anymore, so that's no longer an eight, because remember we... C oh, there's a one here. That's a six, in fact, and that's a real black dot, so that's a three. Um, what's this domino? We know this domino adds up to nine because of the zipper. It's one eight. Can't be two seven, four five, or three six, so this is a one eight pair. Right, ones are now aligning in this domino and this domino, so the one in row one has to be here. Threes are aligning. So the three in row <laughs> the three in row th one has to be here. So that's got to be a six to add up to nine. Six no, it doesn't do anything. Bother. Um if that's a real grey square, that has to be an eight now. One of these is a two, so there's a seven opposite the two. And a four and a five. Okay, let's actually, we might as well just label those up. Two, seven, four, five. But they have to live opposite each other. So that it's either going to be a four, five in this row and a two, seven in this row or vice versa, which would be interesting for this, wouldn't it? Is there some reason? No. No, I thought that maybe that was having an effect there, but I'm not sure it is. That could still be a two and be a correct gray square. If that's correct, it's a five or a seven. Oh, there's a lot going on actually. Um, 
Okay, what about the rest of this column then? Threes and fives to place. Ah, where's three in column five? It goes exactly here. So that's a five. Has that done anything? So five comes out of these squares. Um, does that do something? One is now in one of those two squares. I don't know. I'm not sure that is doing a great deal. It might be. Two. Where's two in box four by Sudoku? It goes in that little square. So two in two in box one is in one of three positions. Don't know if that's important or not. Um, and again, I, I just... I mean, we haven't got many things to look at now. If that's a correct grey circle, it's a 5 or a 9. But I think it can be both of those things. Where are the that's That would have to be a 1, one 7 or 9. I think, again, it can be those things, couldn't it? And that's got to be 5 or 7. Hmm, sorry, I'm not still not seeing it, am I? Um, what about... <laughs> I don't know where to look. Is there... Um... Is... I don't know. Eight. Okay, eight in box four is in one of two places. I think this is getting a bit desperate. No, it's weird. It's weird. Four in box seven is in one of two places. Four, oh no, it's not. Four in box thingy. I don't know where it goes, but it's in one of those squares. So this is now four. I don't think this is doing anything, though. That's the worry. Nine is in one of these two squares now. Um, do we know... Or do we care about anything related to 9 in box 8? I don't think we do. 9, oh, 9 could be here. Depends whether this square is correct. Um, let's double click 2s in case they reveal something to us. No, they don't want to, do they? Double click 3s. Yes, we get a 3 here. Okay, that was something. Whoa. Um... Can we... I don't know. I, don't... <laughs> I haven't got a clue. Um... Come on, Simon. You can do this. Right, what about the top row then? Two, four, five, and seven to place. Is there a naked single sitting smirking at me? Two, four, five, and seven. I don't think so. I mean, those two squares are from 2, 4, 5, and 7. I'm only putting them in because that one seems to have the same population of digits. That can't be 4. No, I... is there another cell in this row that's restricted? That would be useful. Or probably there's another... There's another clue somewhere that I've not obeyed, that I was meant to obey. And that's jolly naughty of me, but that's that could well be what I've failed to see. Where could it be? Come on, Christmas hat, help me. Give me a present. Um, there's a six in one. Oh, hang on. Yeah, where's six? Maybe it is Sudoku. Maybe there's a way that Sudoku will see me through here. I doubt it somehow. Eight now. Oh, now I was about to say eight has to be down there, but eight could be there. It would be good if eight wasn't there, because then we'd know this was the lying square. Um, threes, ones, sixes, threes. Um... <laughs> Two five sevens and nines down here. That square is two seven or nine. Wow, 
wow, it's still being recalcitrant, isn't it? Um, one, three, four, and six. Okay, six is in one of those two squares. Oh, it would be good if I could get it into this square. That would disprove that one. Right, how do we do that then? We'd have to get this to be a three. And this is a correct a correct white dot. So this would have to have to be a two or a four. There's no reason, is there, why one of the combinations here doesn't work. For example, if that was two seven, this would be four five. That could be three or six in that instance. And if this was four five, this would be two or seven. And that could be either way around again. I don't think there is. Um, OK, so instead of that, we're going to look at nine in this box it has to be in this domino, I believe. And therefore, nine is in this particular square in box number thingy down here. Where's one in box number thingy? Don't know, but it's in one of two cells. So we, we can't have many ones left to place. We've placed. Yeah, we've we've got two X wings of ones left. So that that's. Oh, is that interesting? No, I don't think it's interesting enough, unfortunately. Mm, no, I don't think it is interesting enough. Uh, okay, six in this box goes where? Oh, in fact, look, there. if we look at this column, there is a six, seven pair into those squares. Sorry, I hadn't seen that. So what are those squares then? Be something useful, three and eight. Yeah, where's three in this box? Sorry, that's been, that's been available for a while. So that's three, that's eight. Is that doing something? Yes, that's it. Look, now this eight is looking at that square. And that was the digit we were wondering about. Two, four, six, and eight all look at this square. So this is incorrect as an even digit. Now that means that the other even digits, that one is correct and must be a two. Oh, thank goodness for that. Um, and there was another one, that one. That one's got to be eight. Right, so this is a 7-9 pair now, and that's a 5 over on this side of the grid. So there's a 5 in one of these. This is a 2-5-9 triple. And in this column, we've not put 7 in, which must now go there in, the, in, the, in this cell. 7 is now in one of those three positions. These two squares are a 1-8 pair. Ah, 1-8. Let's write that in. And these squares at the top of the grid are four, six, and seven. Don't know if we know the order, can't tell. Do we know anything about gray circles? We probably do now. Uh, we got an eight, or oh, we get an eight there by Sudoku. So that's an eight, that's a one, that's a one, that's a three, that's a three, that's a six, that's good. Because this white dot was correct. So that's got to be four. Now this can't be a four, five pair. So that's got to be a two, seven pair. This has got to be a four, five pair. So that's not a four. That's not a four. So we get four in the corner, not three in the corner. No threes in the corner today. Um, this was two, five, nine. Let's actually just write in all the options and see what we can see. So that's a five at the top. Two, nine here, which is two, seven this sorts out. So that's a nine. Now, what does that mean? Probably lots. That's not four. So this is a five, seven pair, but there's a seven looking at this one. So five, seven, two, seven. So that's six, seven. That's wrong. <laughs> that's six in a circle. So these, that circle and that circle are both correct. Um, now, if that's correct, it's a five or a nine. Oh, bother. Bother, bother. <laughs> it's, it seems to have two, two options. What about that one? That one's a one, actually. That can only be, it sees three, five, and a seven, nine pair. So that's a one, that's a one, that's an eight. So that must be an eight now. This is a two, seven, nine triple. So that's a seven in the corner with a two, nine pair. And we can write this digit in. That's got to be a something, five, I think. Uh, 
So what's that? That must be resolved. Yeah, that's a nine. That's a two. That's a seven. That's a seven. That's a six. That's a six. That's a four. We've not put four into the middle box. That does the four five pair up there. So in this column, this square is a naked single nine. That's an eight. That's a nine. That's a seven. That's a seven. That's a two. That's a five. That's a five. That's a nine. I don't. Un I've just finished the puzzle basically. <laughs> that just sudden suddenly it all went in out of nowhere. That's brilliant, Viking Prime. That's brilliant. I I was so bad, so bad at understanding this this little point here. But I hope you can forgive me because there were so many other logical, beautiful. It's got a lot of very beautiful ideas. This I hope it's right. Let's see. Yes, it's right. Good. Um, it's oh, hang on. Anyway, the, the um, what I was going to say is that the it's fairly clear, I think, where you start. But you have to have a lot of you have to have a lot of reasonably sane thoughts to Philip finish it. You know, you've got to understand the the maths of the zipper. That's I really like that that you had to reach some fairly, you know, you had to use the secret. And that allowed you to deduce some things about the row. I like the fact that the circles were instantly useful. Yeah, it's beautiful. I, I'm just cross with myself about this because that 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 was totally and utterly fair and relatively simple. I just didn't see it. Um, but it's a beautiful puzzle. It really is. Thank oh, thanks again to those who recommended it. I really liked it. <laughs> I really liked it and I hope that those of you um, who saw the rule set had a go at it. Let me know in the comments how you got on. I enjoy the comments, especially when they're kind. And we'll be back later with another edition of Cracking the Cryptic.